The Shanghai International Circuit is the window for more than 1.4 billion Chinese people to see and experience F1, and also the window for the world to see China put on an F1 show. When I heard F1 was coming back to Shanghai after a five-year hiatus, I decided to go and check it out. Outside of the F1 track is basically a car-themed carnival. Many car companies and auto parts manufacturers have booths showcasing their products. There was also a classic car show. This year, I made a mistake in not buying a ticket in advance. When I arrived at the track, there were no tickets for sale. So I began walking along the perimeter, looking for an opening where I could see the action. I think we found a hole in the track. I think we found it. Found the only place to see the track without buying a ticket. 你们就很喜欢 F1 是不是？我们很喜欢赛车。那比如说法拉利或者奔驰，二选一。法拉利感觉是俩都不太行。现在听到这个声音还是觉得兴奋，对吧？特别兴奋。对，这种毕竟不不能在路上听得到。那你们厉害，就是你找到了网，通过网络，就是就是有个攻略，就是说什么交通啊、饮食啊什么的，然后最后给说了哪里可以可以免费看到这个。就就说了这个。这里。I think this guy is leaning on a barbed wire fence. Everybody's just hanging out in the secret spot right here. Took a look at the karting track, which also happens to be the largest karting track I've ever seen. With the F1 portion of the race over, I was able to enter the track area. It's always fun to see people dressed up wearing the colors of the teams they support. You can see a lot of red for Ferrari as the most iconic race car manufacturer, and also the Red Bull colors as they have been the number one team in the sport recently. Although Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton haven't won in a while. There are still some Mercedes fans walking around. The Porsche Carrera Cup Asia was about to begin, and I wanted to see some of the action. Hearing the roar of the engines and seeing the cars whiz by is still exciting. After watching a bit of the Porsche racing, I went to explore the view of the track from different parts of the grandstand. One A section would have some of the most expensive tickets available to watch the races. From here, you can see a good view of the track and also the pit area. I also saw these two dudes going for a run around the track. At the end of the Porsche race, I was feeling very hungry, so I walked over to the food area and had some kebabs. I started with a lamb kebab. Then a squid kebab. And finally, a corn kebab. You can see Shake Shack on site serving burgers and fries. This year, after the race was over, there was an electronic music festival with Martin Garrix headlining. I love living in Shanghai. The city has a dynamism that I haven't found anywhere else in the world. 